Roadmap Roundup, October 30th, 2020. Hey guys, happy Friday. Wishing you a good Halloween. Stay safe out there. So a lot of stuff coming into the roadmap. They're in green. A lot of items were removed from roadmap. Now they're kind of sneaking back in. Except for Law System version 2 Surrender, which is out. But I know what you're looking at is the Mercury Star Runner done. Yes, it is. Currently in polishing. Let's get there in a second. Let's read what's going on here. Notable changes for October 30, 2020. This week, we're adding seven new cards to the roadmap for Alpha 312, mostly related to the addition and improvement of Stanton Security. What is happening with Stanton Security, you ask? Good question. Here's a hint. Look at it. That is right. The Idris will now be patrolling these zones and shooting at you if your crime stat is high enough. You know what's going to happen. We're all going to be attacking the Idrises now. This is going to be good. This is exciting stuff. With the release of 312, a Navy Idris will now be the final line of defense at armistice zones of rest stops. Should criminals with high enough combined crime stat enter the armistice zone, a Navy Idris will be called to deal with them with the business end of that railgun. Hot. It is so nice. I cannot wait to see that in action. All right, let's take a look at what is uh, new in here and what's changing. Let's uh, expand upon these green little uh, items over there. AI fire mode usage and targeting priorities. What that is, uh, large turrets will take large ships. Small turrets, which are more maneuverable, will target smaller things like small, small ships and uh, I guess torpedoes, right? Uh, actually, everything here seems to be related to the Idris coming in. AI intercepting torpedoes. Additional functionality allowing ship AI to intercept and shoot down incoming torpedoes, all right? So the plans of using your Eclipse to uh, simply torpedo the Idris to death might not work as well because it seems like they'll be shooting down your torpedoes. But how many can they shoot down at the same time is the question. We'll find the answer to that very, very soon. AI accuracy convergence. Ship turret accuracy changed to convergence-based system, allowing for more believable accuracy that rewards players for taking evasive action, all right? Capital ship combat behavior improvements. Improvements to ship AI focused on maneuvering, targeting, and weapon use of capital ships. Capital ships, turret torpedoes, visual effects, sound effects improvements. Like everything here is to make sure this Idris coming in to patrol the zones is going to be extra special. I like it. Improvements to destruction, death marks, turret firing, missile trails, torpedo, visual sound effects to enhance the look and feel of combat against destruction of capital ships. This entire patch is just making shooting an Idris a lot more fun. Countermeasures, countermeasures version 1.1. With these improvements to countermeasures gameplay, the amount of deployed countermeasures will play more of an important role in the uh, chance of spoofing missiles. Single countermeasures will be less effective, but players will have the ability to choose how many should be fired with each burst. Interesting. So fire, firing uh, one burst of countermeasures might not do the trick. You might have to uh, spam it a bit. Last uh, point here. Torpedo attack counterbalance and behavior. A rebalance of the size 9 torpedoes. Boo! They are now more deadlier. Yeah! <laughs> with only a few direct hits required to bring down larger ships. Nice! So maybe the Eclipse is not dead yet. This extra damage comes at the cost of uh, speed. Okay, fair enough. However, affording the opportunity for ships to counter uh, attack by destroying them. All right, so your torpedoes will be slower, which means a ship, a small ship, can outrun them, but larger ships can also target them because they're traveling slower. So uh, more of a stealth element required here because if you can get in close enough, lock it and shoot it before the enemy can react, you got a better chance. Continuing here. Mining UI refactor, we saw a sneak peek about that, looks pretty good. And closing off with the Gemini AO3 sniper rifle bearing. Uh, so the sniper gameplay is really coming into its own here, being able to shoot targets 2.5 kilometers out. Uh, yeah, so very exciting to get some more snipers in the game, looking forward to try that out. Law System version 2, Surrender, having reviewed the process, made this feature during another quarter. We have decided to remove it from the roadmap for the time being, as more work and visual audio feedback is needed. Okay. The Grin multi-tool tractor beam attachment moved from gameplay section, and the Mercury Star Runner moved into polishing. It is coming. Very exciting. So, with that said, well, let's look at pictures now. Look at that. We're going to be seeing... A lot more of this ship now. I cannot wait for it. And I showed you this one already. This is the railgun firing. Exciting stuff. Well, guys, let's wrap this up. If you enjoyed my content, you know what to do. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Your comments below about your thoughts of the address here. Awesome. 
Have yourself a wonderful weekend. I'll catch you in the next one.